Welcome back to Franchise TV on his YouTube channel, I'll Unbox Anything. Today I'm actually opening up a BAM Comics Mystery Box I've had, I think, for a couple months now. So everybody knows I stopped my subscription to the BAM Comic Box because it just it wasn't any good anymore. It wasn't worth the money. You're spending 100, I think there's like 100 bucks a box now. And yes, you were getting like a, a CBCS or a CGC 9.8 most of the time comic, but most of those, honestly, you couldn't even silver 25 bucks. It was just a lot of just comics with no, nothing to them. It was just like dollar bin comics. So I stopped my subscription and I've had this box sitting here in the corner now for a couple months. I, I kept saying, I'll get around to it eventually. I'll get around to it eventually. And today's the day. I got around to it. So we're gonna do this. This will be the last BAM Comics box you see on this channel. Hopefully it's halfway decent, but each one of these boxes did have a slab comic, a raw of that slab comic, and then like those wall mounts for your for your slab comic. And obviously the slab comic is right on top too. Once you open up the box, you see your slab. See like there's, there's the wall mounts, and then they, these always come out of there. Oh, I dropped it. It doesn't even matter. It's like the boys coins. Just junk. And then, what is this? Oh, that's that's just the raw comic. They usually have the underneath of it. Okay, never mind. I've gone completely crazy, I think. Anyway, here we go. Here's the slab. Then we'll look at the raw comic, which is upside down, thankfully. What did I get? The back says Cowboy Bebop number one. Okay. Cowboy Bebop number one, Titan Comics, signed by Kreese Hyung Sung Lee on 130 or 113 2022. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of like why. Wow, that's a Newton in the back. That thing's got a massive Newton ring. At least, it's, at least it's, it's on the back, not on the front. But anyway, this is kind of like why I stopped my BAM Comics sub subscription. So it's signed by Creasley, Doctor Strange, X Factor, and Thor. And then copy of it in raw condition that's always damaged because of how they pack their comics. So yeah, w worth 100 bucks? No. No, this is exactly why I stopped my subscription to the BAM Comics box. And honestly, my personal opinion, you should too. It's just not worth the money. I'd much rather take 100 bucks this box costs and actually just go out and buy a comic that I want for 100 bucks. Not get stuff like this that I don't collect and... Yeah. Just for fun, I'm going to look on eBay, see what this thing is actually sold for. I'm kind of curious now. Okay, I'm looking on ebay actual sold prices not asking prices some people are asking 100 bucks for this but they didn't sell for that actual sold prices is sold on may 22nd for 55 dollars exact same comic graded 9.8 and autographed by the artist sold for 55 dollars one sold for 62 dollars one sold for 67 dollars here's one sold for 60 dollars so on average you say what 60 bucks on average this is what it actually sells for actually a little bit more than i thought i was going to but average it sells for about 60 dollars that raw comic it's damaged it has no value so that's what i'm saying they charge 100 bucks for these boxes and the comic you get out because you're, you're pretty much you're paying for this and it it never never covers the price of the box maybe one ever has Every other one that I've gotten, I've usually have lost quite a bit of money on them whenever I sell them just because they're just fun video, right? Debbie Downer kind of video on this YouTube channel. I'll unbox anything, even subscription boxes that I've canceled.